I am going to be giving you guys the top five best big man jump shots in NBA 2K23, so you guys can green every single shot on your big man players. Before we delve into things, do me a favor, drop a like and subscribe to the channel, and let's hop right into the video. All right, so for this first jump shot, this is going to be base Kevin Durant with release one Dirk Nowitzki and release two Alex Len. This is only the first of several jump shots I'm going to give you guys in this video, so make sure you guys watch this entire video so you're not missing one jump shot that might be the absolutely perfect jump shot for you. You guys see we're getting A's across the board except for in defensive immunity where we're getting a b honestly for a big man jump shot defensive immunity doesn't really matter that much but release speed definitely is extremely important and timing impact also matters a little bit all around i like the jump shot because it's super super easy and super consistent obviously you needed a pretty high three-point rating for this jump shot but that's just because it's so easy to green if you can't unlock this jumper definitely this is probably the best jump shot for you now there are faster big man jump shots out there however i just believe this is the easiest jump shot to green in my opinion the best well-rounded jump shot this jump shot's gonna work from everywhere on the floor and it's absolutely great off the dribble so if you're on like a six foot ten six foot eleven like big man dribbling build or like one of those seven foot two victor web and yama builds that are supposed to be like seven foot two dribble gods so moving on to the q of this jump shot if you guys don't know what a q is it's pretty much something that helps you release square and just time your jump shot correctly basically once your jump shot like reaches the q and you see the q on your jump shot you're gonna want to release square a q can be a very very wide variety of things but for this jump shot right here what you're gonna want to do for the q of your jump shot is look at the ball when you are looking at the ball you're gonna want to wait until the ball is as close to your player's head as physically possible and then right when it's at like this point right here you're gonna want to release square and it'll be green basically every single time obviously as i said that jump shot does require a somewhat high three-point rating so if you guys want a lower three-point rating jump shot i recommend using base eric pascal with a release one bagley and release two Giannis with 2773 blending yes see you only need an 81 three-point rating to unlock this jump shot and i have personally been using this jump shot on my taller big man builds yes see you're getting that a plus speed making this jump shot very very fast as well you're getting b timing impact and b release height which is pretty pretty good as well as b minus defensive immunity also what i will say about timing impact this is very very controversial a ton of people don't really know what it does basically don't compromise your jump shot over timing impact it kind of points you in the right direction of what jump shots are more easy to green than others there's so many other like hidden statistics such as green window that 2k just doesn't show you guys and those statistics are way way more important than timing impact will ever be this base eric pascal jump shot is very very good just like the previous jump shot this thing is very very easy to time and green and it's just very easy to pick up. It's gonna work from everywhere on the floor very, very well as well. It's super, super consistent. And something that's a bit unique about this jump shot is that it's great with delay. So if you like playing on a TV or something, or you have a very bad Wi-Fi or a very bad monitor, then this is a very good jump shot for you. For the cue of this jump shot, what you're gonna wanna do is once again, look at the ball. You'll see the ball pretty much just move in two motions. First, it's gonna come up and like a little bit above your player's head, and then it's gonna change directions and move towards the basket. What you're gonna wanna do is release square at the start of the second motion so you're going to want to release square when the ball is starting its movement towards the basket so basically just like right here if you release square at this point consistently then of course it's going to be green consistently and you're just not going to be missing all right jump shot number three this is going to be base wagner with release one uh, precious achua and a uh, release two len with 45 55 for the blending all around the grades are very very solid you guys see the jump shot is kind of on the slower end so don't use this jump shot if you want a super super fast jump shot it's one of those jump shots that's kind of hard to get off but when you are open it's very 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 easy like one of the easiest jump shots in this game as well you only need a 76 three-point rating for this jump shot so a lot of big man builds are going to be able to unlock this jump shot right here of course it's very 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 consistent and it's just very easy to green it's going to work from everywhere on the floor but it's especially good from the corners for some reason like if you're one of those big man builds that just plays really really good defense and then on offense lets your six foot nine guard just iso the entire game then this is going to be a very good jump shot for you now if you guys want to time this jump shot correctly what you're going to want to do is look at the ball just like any normal jump shot the ball is going to come up and then it's going to go forward but for this jump shot it comes really far back and then just your player's arm is just swing towards the basket basically and you're going to want to release square when the ball is not moving backwards and when it's not moving forwards so basically when it's in between the backwards motion and in between the forwards motion you're going to want to release square so basically i just aim to release square like right here okay so moving on to what is actually probably my favorite big man jump shot in this game right now and you only need a 70 
71 three point rating, two along this jump shot right here. O'Shea Brissett with release one Marvin Bagley and release two Precious Achua. Now, I'm pretty sure this is one of, if not the fastest big man jump shots in this game. You guys see you're getting an A plus release speed. You guys can also see you're getting a D timing impact. Now, as I said earlier, timing impact does not matter as much as a ton of people think. Some people think it's going to make or break your jump shot, but trust me, it does not have that big of an influence. I really just look at timing impact to kind of point me in the right general direction. But as I said earlier, there's just so many other hidden statistics that 2K doesn't show you guys, such as green window. And O'Shea Brissett has such a big green window that it's super easy to green. The jump shot is also very, very good off the dribble for some reason. Probably due to the fact that it's very, very fast, but it's just very crazy all around. As well, I found the timing doesn't really change that much compared to a lot of other jump shots. What I mean by that is when you're tired, your jump shot tends to slow down a little bit, but for this jump shot, it doesn't slow down that much. And as well, when you're a little bit contested, your jump shot tends to speed up. But with this jump shot right here, your jump shot just doesn't really speed up that much. This just makes a jump shot very, very consistent because no matter what the circumstances are, the timing is basically the exact same. For the cue of this jump shot, what you're going to want to do is look above your player's head. Then you're pretty much just going to want to wait until you see the ball. And then as soon as you see the ball, you need to release square. Your reaction time does need to be kind of quick with it. You're not holding square for very long since I'm pretty sure this is the fastest big man jump shot. So you see the ball and then release square and boom, it's green every single time. All right, for the fifth and final jump shot, this is going to be a jump shot for really, really low three-point rating builds. And this jump shot right here is base Montrezl Harrell with 70% Giannis and 30% DeMontis Sabonis. Now, I do have to give credit to Joe knows this is where I discovered the Montrezl Harrell base from and I'm sure a lot of other people have discovered the Montrezl Harrell base. You guys see you only need a 67 three point rating for this jump shot. So basically every single build should be able to unlock it. If you guys have an even lower three point rating than 67, honestly you really shouldn't be shooting that much. But what I recommend doing is just change the upper releases to something that requires a lower three point rating, but keep the Montrezl Harrell base 100%. You guys see you're getting an F timing impact, which honestly is very, very understandable. You only need a 67 three point rating for this jump shot but again timing impact is not that important i can green with it very very consistently and well as well an a release speed is very very crazy for a jump shot that only needs a 67 three point rating and then also a b defense immunity is quite good although you really should not be taking contested jump shots if you're using this jumper right here and now as i said joe knows does use this base right here because honestly it's just very very good it has a massive green window making it very easy to green and works from everywhere on the floor making it very very usable as well it's absolutely amazing off the catch and amazing off the dribble plus it's super super consistent and it's good with or without meter now, if you guys are using no meter, then obviously you need to know the cue of your jump shot. Now, what I pretty much do for this jump shot is basically the exact same thing I did for the previous jump shot, but a little bit different. What I do is I look at the ball, and then when I see the ball go above my player's head vertically, then I release square. This is a cue I've never ever used before in any other jump shot, but for this jump shot right here, it's just very, very consistent. I've tried a ton of different cues, and I just found this one works the best. So yeah, basically just aim to release square right here, and it'll be green every single time. So yeah, with that being said, that's gonna wrap it up for the video if you did enjoy this video please drop a like and subscribe to the channel as well go follow me on tiktok and follow my twitter there's one very very important video on the screen right now i don't know what it's gonna be but trust me it's super important you're definitely gonna want to click it with that being said i'm out peace